everybody, Gregory here with SoFlow Sense. Quick little update and an apology for you guys. Sorry I haven't had any content come out in about a week or so. I have been sick as a dog. Come to find out, I actually do have COVID-19. Believe it or not, this is my first time getting it and it is rough. I don't wish this on anybody. If you haven't had it yet, consider yourself lucky. With that being said, I am rounding the corner. I am getting better. I didn't get it as bad as many others before me have had it. So for that, I'm blessed. Without further ado, let's get into today's video topic, which is going to be my top three cheapy purchases of 2022. So the first fragrance on today's list is going to be Missoni Wave. I find the Missoni bottles to be very elegant. This one features a beautiful cobalt blue gradient in the glass. You have a nice silver or chrome accent color. The cap is magnetic. That's something to be said on a cheapy. And it's a very strong magnet at that. Clicks on there very, very nice. Beautiful detail to the cap as well. And that's about it, but I do really like the bottles. They feel good in the hand. They have a nice weight to them. Atomizer, gorgeous. Which leads you into the gorgeous fragrance. This one gets compared a lot to both Versace Pour Homme and Chanel Allure Homme Sport, even sometimes the Chanel Allure Homme Sport O Extreme Flanker. And I see the comparisons. I actually have Versace Pour Homme right here. I don't own the Chanel's. But yes, it is indeed very similar to the Pour Homme. However, I would pick the Missoni any day of the week because it's going to outperform this any day of the week. And you're getting that little bit of Chanel Allure Homme Sport in there as well. So what more could he ask for for a cheap fragrance, sub $40? I don't think there's much else to look for. Note breakdown on this starts off with C notes, citruses, and specifically mandarin orange. In the middle, you're getting lavender, clary sage, and rosemary. In the base, you're getting vanilla orchid. That's where that creamy dry down comes from, kind of like the Chanel. Vetiver, patchouli, and oak moss. I don't get every single one of those notes. For the most part, I'm just getting the C notes, the citruses, lavender, and the vanilla orchid. But let your nose be the judge. I find this one to be very great and very safe. I think this fragrance would be beautiful for the office, for the gym, running errands, going out to dinner, grabbing a drink, even maybe a date during the day in the spring or summer. This fragrance is not going to offend anybody. It just smells very, very good, very, very clean. And I think it's going to pull you some compliments. If you can get this for the right price, I highly recommend getting your nose on it. So the second fragrance on today's list is one you might not hear too much about. You probably hear a lot more about its sibling, which is Insurrection to Pure. Fragrance I'm talking about today is Insurrection to Pure Extreme. Now, the funny story I have for this one is that I had actually bought Insurrection to Pure. And when it came in, they sent me a little sample of the Extreme. And upon first sniff, I said, I made a mistake. I should have just bought the Extreme because I like it personally that much better. If you're familiar with this, it's a Creed Aventus clone. While this maintains that Creed Aventus DNA up top, I think it puts its own unique spin and twist on the dry down with the addition of vanilla, musk, cashmere, and amber and cedar. This almost makes it like a Creed Aventus for the winter time or the cooler weather without being overly smoky. This is not a smoky, smoky badge of Creed Aventus. This is its own thing, and I love that about it. I've gotten some compliments on this. I've been wearing it to the gym. Probably not the best choice, but I love it, and oh my gosh, the way it dries down on my hoodie is like, ugh. Every time my girlfriend smells it when I'm wearing it, oh my god, you smell so good, what are you wearing? You know, this is one she really does like as well. She likes a lot of my fragrances, don't get me wrong, but this one, she does go crazy for, as do I. This fragrance makes me go, so I would say you could probably get away with wearing this to work in the cooler months. It's probably not the best gym fragrance, however I do it. But this is one you could wear out. I'm not saying go clubbing with it, but this is one you could definitely go bar hopping with. You can go out to dinner. It's a little bit different. It's got a little bit more of an edge. So this is a pretty safe do most as well, but it's a little more daring than the Missoni Wave. So you guys might be wondering, where's the party boy fragrance at? Where's our clubbing fragrance at? Don't worry, I got you guys. Party has arrived. His name is Afnan, 9 p.m. Let's take a look at the atomizer. Not the best, not the worst, but let me tell you guys something. This fragrance smells so good in the air. If you are looking for a cheaper alternative to Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male, or just simply looking for a bad fragrance to wear to the club, to wear to a party, to get compliments, to be loud, to get noticed, it's this. Off non 9 p.m. This fragrance is 
somewhere around 30 or 40 bucks for the 100 ml bottle. It's doing a really, really, really good job of cloning ultra male. It's a little bit unique. It outperforms ultra male, current batches of ultra male. This guy right here is awesome. This is your party fragrance, especially if you're on a budget. You're getting in the top apple, cinnamon, lavender, bergamot. In the middle, you're getting orange blossom, lily of the valley, and in the base, you're getting vanilla, tonka, amber, and patchouli. Honestly, you're just getting an apple vanilla bomb, and that's fine. This is phenomenal stuff, guys. This is so, so good. Now, I did end up actually later on buying Ultra Mail because I really, really do enjoy the pair note. And the fact that this one doesn't go as heavy on the monstrous projection and performance anymore is okay with me. I wear this one like out to dinner. I'll wear it to grab drinks with my lady. And that's fine. It's kind of like subdued. And that's cool. If you want the party version nowadays, you gotta just not go for the OG and grab yourself the off 9, 9 p.m. I'm catching wafts of it in the air. It smells phenomenal. It's gorgeous. And it's loud. And if that's what you want, check this one out. So full disclaimer, this fragrance right here is sweet, 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 sweet. So if you are not a sweet fragrance kind of person, you're probably not going to love this. This might not be one you're getting for yourself more than it's one you're getting for others. Because if you're looking for a clubbing fragrance, you're looking for something sweet. Every clubbing fragrance that's been a hit in the last 10, 15 years is sweet. Shall we? One million, sweet. Versace Eros, sweet. Ultra Male, sweet. Hell, even Lamal was sweet. So if you want a loud banger club and fragrance that's not gonna break the bank, that you are going to get plenty of bang for your buck from, look no further than off 9, 9 p.m. This stuff is phenomenal for the price. Well guys, that's my list top three cheap fragrance pickups of 2022 hope y'all enjoyed the content please let me know down below what y'all thought like comment and subscribe hit the bell it would mean the world to me i'm gregory this has been so flow sense y'all take care